Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for cornbread dressing. Let me show you what you're going to need. Okay, so you are going to need some chicken bouillon. I really like this Noor seasoning. It has great flavor. You're gonna need water for your bouillon, some unsalted butter, poultry seasoning, and then the eggs and the milk are for the cornbread mix. You're gonna need two packages of cornbread mix. These are two six ounce packages. I happen to like Martha White and I like white cornbread, whatever your preference is. If you like a different brand or if you want yellow cornbread, go for it. That's just what I like. And then you're also going to need a frozen vegetable blend. This has onions, celery, and green bell peppers. Um, this is a, a Cajun style blend, but just depending on the region of the country that you're in, it may be called something different. But again, make sure it has onions, celery, and green bell peppers. So we're going to start off by preparing the cornbread according to the package directions. Okay, so in my bowl, I have my eggs, which are at room temperature, and I am going to add in my cornbread mix. Now, if you are making this for a big crowd, I would double this recipe. Use four packages of cornbread. I came up with this recipe during the height of the pandemic. Grocery store shelves were bare, and I had to make do with what I had. But it turns out I ended up loving this recipe so much that I've made it this way ever since. I hope you enjoy it too. Okay, so I've got my cornbread batter all mixed up. I've got my oven preheated. And when it was preheating, I put this glass dish in the oven with some oil to get it nice and hot. I'm just pouring it in. Maybe a little lumpy, but that is okay. And I'm just gonna let this bake for about half an hour or until it's golden brown. So I just took the cornbread out of the oven. I let it bake for about half an hour. And so now I'm just gonna let this cool completely and then I'll show you what comes next. So my cornbread is completely cool. And so now what I'm gonna do is just take it out of the pan and crumble it. So you're just gonna get in there with your fingers and crumble it into small pieces. All right, so I've got my cornbread all crumbled up. Let's get started on our veggies. All right, so I've got one stick of unsalted melted butter. Now I'm just pouring in my veggies and I'm gonna let these cook down until the onions are translucent. Okay, so my veggies are done. Now I'm going to add my poultry seasoning. A little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. Um, if you don't know, in poultry seasoning, you've got thyme, sage, marjoram, rosemary, black pepper, and nutmeg. I added less than a half of a teaspoon. If you like a lot of poultry seasoning, definitely go for it. But like I said, a little goes a long way. Just gonna give that a quick stir. And now I'm going to add in my veggies. So I'm gonna start off by just adding about half of the amount of veggies. And then if, you know, if I want more, I'll add more. But this is about half. And I'm gonna add about a cup of that broth. Now, I like to use that Noor bouillon. It really does add a lot of flavor. If you decide to go with the canned broth, I'm telling you, it's just not gonna be the same. That bouillon has a lot of flavor. I don't add any additional seasoning besides that bouillon and my poultry seasoning, because it's so flavorful. So you're just gonna add in a little bit at a time. and give it a stir each time. And if you'll notice in my dressing, I don't add eggs to it. Um, I grew up with eggs in my dressing. And then when I got older, I realized that the eggs make the dressing more dense. And I really do like my dressing to be kind of light and fluffy, if you will. So that's why there's no eggs in it. And you really don't miss them. I don't anyway. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my veggies in. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of my broth.
Okay, I've got everything all stirred up and this is the texture that you're looking for. If I were to take this in my hands and ball it up, it would stay. So that's what you're looking for. It's not super soupy, but it's just right. So now I'm gonna grab my pan and we'll go to the next step. So I've got a greased nine by 13 pan here and I'm just gonna put my dressing mixture in and I'm gonna pat it out. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I am going to bake this for about 45 minutes or um, for about an hour until it's nice and golden brown. So I just took the dressing out of the oven. I let it bake for about 50 minutes. I'm gonna let this cool for just a little bit and then I am going to plate it up so you can see what it looks like. So I took the dressing out of the pan and I put it in a casserole dish for you all so you could see what it looks like. It is so good. It has the perfect amount of flavor to it. I hope this video makes dressing less intimidating for you and I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.